Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to this afternoon webinar. My name is Theo and I'm here to introduce you to Jens so you will have your uh, session. Now, until Jens will, uh, will join us, I would like just to make sure that everybody knows about the YouTube channel. Here is Jens. Hello, Jens. How are you? We just started. Hello. Hello, Theo. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Always pleasure. Uh, so I will just go through the um, few pages, few channels, and then we'll come back to you, Jens, if that's okay. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the first one, of course, is the YouTube channel. And ideally, you can uh, you can subscribe and like the videos. As I always say, it takes so much effort from uh, all the team, Jens, myself, Paul, and everyone who does the live uh, webinar for you guys. So we'll appreciate if you just um, press the like button. If you, for those who are new here at the Trading Spotlight, you can find all of Jens' recording webinar. And the last one I would like to mention, it's the Admirals global Instagram page. Uh, on a daily basis, you will find reels, you'll find stories, everything purely informative, keeping up with um, current market events. And um, let me stop sharing from here. So Jens, I can... Uh, uh, just one second, Jens. Yep. Yes, I think you're good to go. <laughs> Great. Um, so, yeah, we, we have to, to, in fact, hurry up a little because um, in 30 minutes we have the U.S. market opening. Um, yes. And uh, why is this of importance? Well, because um, today we want to go through some earnings and uh, make... Yeah. Make several um, uh, setups, potential setups, probably uh, a, a topic here. Um, I have, um, for example, Baidu on my on my um, uh, radar. I have also Coin on my radar, both after earnings, and I have also um, Nvidia brought with me. And it's not just that I brought in, uh, Nvidia with me, since uh, where because we have earnings after the close, because where because I have a trade going right now. Um, I swing the position overnight. Um, and, um, yeah, I'd like to, to guide you through this trade. The thing is, I don't plan to, um, keep the trade, um, into the earnings. So I, I really plan to manage it today. So right now, um, um, um NVIDIA can make back some of the, the losses we've seen uh, yesterday in the pre-market. Um, but I'm not really sure whether, whether this is sustainable. Could really imagine, um, the, the stock pushing into 210, but rolling over there again. Um, and if we don't make it back above that level, I, th I think it, it's it's likely that we at least test the region around yesterday's lows and closing price again around uh, 206. And then I have to see whether we drop lower and I continue to um, try to capture some some um, momentum on the on the downside, or if we don't push lower because there is not much action going on, then well, probably I will just um, um, then exit the trade. And but I'll guide you through this in a few seconds. But you can you can already. Um, um, here, here, right, right in this um, introduction, that um, we are about to see some. Well, not really sure if it will be fireworks, but um, it's it's certainly something um, where we want to focus on on real trading. Um, and everything I present to you, please be aware that this is purely educational content. So it could be that, and, and it is as as you will see, since I have a trade open already. Um, that I will present not just my game plan, but also that I will execute trades. This is especially true in terms of um, a potential Baidu trade um, for for um, um, playing the earnings, which were just released and were quite good, I think. Um, also, um, the outlook, the comments in, in regards to, to chat GPT, and also in addition to the uh, shares buyback, which was announced of nearly 10% of the market cap, 5 billion um, USD. But again, details in a few seconds. Long thing short, if I formulate any trade ideas, uh, hypothesis, um, exit, a tra uh, enter a trade, exit a trade, um, execute a trade in general, um, please make sure that you understand that this is purely educational content. Um, so um, this is this is true trading. So this is real money. That's my money. So um, uh, you really will see real trading. 
But um, if you make any decisions based on my thoughts here, you make them on your own. So please be aware that you that, that it's not investment advice or trading advice or something like that, but that you take all responsibility and take full responsibility for all potential um, um, losses, which could happen, but also certainly for the gains um, in, in, in a best case scenario. But first of all, it's the losses we should focus on. So well, long thing short again, this is purely educational. So no um, um, trading advice, investment advice. Please make sure that you understand that, that, reads, that, that you read the risk disclaimer carefully, that you understand that in general trading involves risks, especially when trading leverage products. And um, so taking it, taking it from there. <clears throat> I think I don't need to introduce Admirals any further because um, Theo already did an awesome job here in this regard. And um, so that that being said, then um, leaves us coming to the trading platform. And um, in this regard here, uh, first of all, I want to I want to give you um, a quick introduction on how I organized my uh, trading screen so that you that we all are on the same page and see um, 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 see, see the th same picture. So um, I have a five minute here. I have an hourly there and I have a daily chart there. The five minute is my um, execution um, platform or execution window. So if I enter exit a trade, I, I do this here via the mini terminal. You can download this for free, by the way, uh, via admiralmarkets.com. Um, uh, and probably we, we can do this. One second, let me just open here the website and then I'll, I'll show you where you can get this this mini terminal from so you go to platforms there and there you have the meta trader in our case we're using mt5 here today and then you can see there is the meta trader supreme edition so if you click on this you can download this here for free and then um, upload it into your meta trader and um use this and as you can see it's not just the, the mini terminal but also you have a sentiment trader here but in our case we first of all want to use here the mini terminal um for our purposes but just if you if you're wondering why you can see this in your chart that's most likely due to the fact that you don't have the supreme add-on yet downloaded so head over to the website platforms supreme add-on download it for free and then you can have this too um it's 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 a nice it's a really nice tool um especially here as you can see um in case of a trade so right now a market is closed we we don't have we don't have trading um right now happening but it will start in around 30 minutes from now um but you can also see here for example if you if you click on the stop for example um such a window appears and then you can manage the stop in a very nice way you can just type in here the 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 stop um um um, um lost level it's a German platform by the way I'm sorry so um it's it's here you 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 put your your stop loss in this case um and then you you can manage it by you can also you can also for example here use use this chart for example so this is obviously um not working right now um but you can also manage it very easily right in the chart so that's one of the reasons why i really um, appreciate using this 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 tool here you can also um, um manage your risk accordingly and so on and so forth but this is not the platform introduction um but just that you see why i i really um like like i'm um, using the mini terminal here in this case and um so you can already see some some executions happening here so these appear in um in blue respectively in red then in this case so blues are buys while reds are are our sells here this is where i shorted initially there were some other um let's call them cash flow um trades i i tried to make which didn't work out that nicely so it was just small losses really really small losses um <clears throat> But I tried to to capture some momentum on the downside. If we break, especially um, in case of of Nvidia, here's the one hour If we if we break below this blue line, which is 210 around, um, well, we did we broke below, but there was no real flush down or no real true momentum which took place. At least not the momentum I expected down to 206, which we then finally reached around 206 into the close, but not directly once we once we break broke lower here below 210 um but again small losses small losses it's, uh, the idea was a cash flow trade and then i i just realized okay right now it, it seems as if there's no real 
momentum coming into the market once we break certain levels, which might have to do with the fact that the so-called R-vol, the relative volume was quite low. It wasn't really that the stock could be considered hot. Um, I considered um, NVIDIA especially interesting into the earnings and given the overall market weakness we've seen. So yesterday we had a, um, the, the weakest day in the year so far in the S&P um, S 500 or also in the NASDAQ 100. And I consider, especially after the, the, the massive run higher um, in NVIDIA here, I, I consider the stock, especially since the beginning of the year, in fact, um, and the stock being up 60, 70%. And we are not talking about um, um, a low float stock or something like that. So we are talking about a big tech company. So NVIDIA has a market cap. Let's just head over here to um, Finwiz to give you a better idea of that. So this is also for free, finwiz.com. This is where we check all the um, 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 stock fundamentals, in fact, something I will guide you through in a few a few seconds. Um, and as you can see here, so it's a, mass, a market cap of um, half a trillion USD um, right now. So it has been below that, certainly. When we when we are trading something like sixty percent lower, but as I already said, so this is this is a very big move we have seen here, and now we are topping out somehow against two thirty and heading into earnings. And well, let's say the headlines we are seeing in the semiconductor um, industry, um, which are still there, um, even though Nvidia seems well positioned to overcome this due to the the, the broad. Um, um, the, the, the broad business model they, they offer, especially now in terms of uh, GPUs, um, a graphic um, a processing units in this case, and the role these play in terms of, for example, artificial intelligence. We mentioned this in several webinars in the past when we covered NVIDIA, in fact, in depth here. Um, and so, well, long thing short. So I think if the market comes down, NVIDIA has potential to come in um, sharper um, or pulling in sharper especially um, once um, we are now heading into earnings and market participants are not really sure whether they probably should hold it over the earnings or probably there's a negative surprise, let's say, and then there's another flush lower on this side. So that was the main thesis, the main idea behind um, 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 this, this trade here I, I entered. And again, so didn't take on bearish momentum, but took on further bearish momentum into the close, even though it was a little less quick as I expected it to be, took out one third of the trade and kept the rest now overnight. And then we'll see today um, how things play out. Let me just probably um, guide you here. Now, this is also something which might be of interest for you because I'm talking about the pre-market action and therefore I use some trading view. Um, and, and you can, by the way, um, have this for free. What's not for free is in fact here, the volume you see um, in here below and it's um, a NASDAQ volume. So this is something you have to pay for in terms of trading view. And I think you have to be a pro member minimum so it's not for free but you get um, um for example bats um, um uh, volume data and um what's very interesting here in this regard is especially these blue respectively this this orange um, background and you might wonder what this is um if you click here on this um, um settings window there you have session at the end um, and there you can have the regular trading hours, but you can also have the prolongated trading hours. And this is um, then where you see what happened after hours, respectively what happens now in the pre-market. And that's what is of interest for us. This is especially true when looking um, in a few seconds at Baidu. But um, just here, making sure that, that we're on the same page for NVIDIA and what I'm after, since our main focus will certainly be on Baidu at the market opening, um, um, but if I take any decision in terms of NVIDIA, I just want to make sure that, that you see what, why I do this right now. So this is the chart from yesterday. And as you can see here, um, there's there's another line um, here. This is the, the orange line, respectively, here's a blue line. And these um, lines, especially the orange one, is for me of high importance for today. Um, so 210, I, I already mentioned that. This was the blue line here in my chart. Um, so that's obviously a, a crucial level. I don't want to um, see the stock pushing back above that level, first of all. Um, but in addition to that, this orange line here is also showing us the average, um, um, as the, 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 the volume weighted average price for the last two trading days. So it shows me the volume, especially from yesterday, what we've seen, which wasn't that high, in fact. So when looking here at, at Finwiz, we have a, a quick way to, to, to see how much volume was traded yesterday, 41 million. That was around what we see on average being traded, but slightly below that, 45. So usually, if you say elevated volume or elevated R vol, which makes it likelier that the breakout trade, as I plan to trade it, 
as I'm successful needs an elevated R vol, or this is at least um, um, some hint that probably a breakout will work um, 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 more likely, let's say. And it's likelier to see an elevated R vol if you have a fundamental trigger, like, for example, an earnings release, which we see today. So that might result in then a calmer price action or market participants staying away from the stock in this regard. And um, so coming back now to, to this line. So this is my, 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 let's say, orientation for today. Let's see how the open plays out, what we get to see. European markets came in um, weak. So in the case of the DAX, for example, we, we broke below 15,300 in the morning. There was also a short trade. I had one yesterday too. I took, but there was no further momentum on the downside then. Um, let's see um, how, how US markets open right now. I think we are quite weak, um, given what we've seen, for example, in the S&P 500. Um, yesterday so well probably take here the spider this is the etf on the um on the s p 500 etf so let me just see so we broke here below um the in fact the level which initiated the push higher that was some um, let's call it the, the 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 fat candle um the fat candle was the candle um which with jay powell then drove markets higher even though the rhetoric wasn't um, um, um very dovish or bullish for equities in general at least in my personal opinion and now um here fundamentally all right, not fundamentally, but but from a sentiment perspective, that's probably a better way to put it. We drop below that level, and that's likely to continue lower now because the market participants who bought and 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 rushed into a trade and chased the the, the rally, which we've seen here, are definitely underwater now. They, they've been already. Um, you you could also use some volume weighted average price here to find that out. Um, but now they're clearly underwater. Potentially, the sentiment is shifting now, and we have the potential to probably pulling in um significantly lower. Um, if we do not quickly reclaim 400, and this could weigh on NVIDIA here too. But we need to see whether this plays out or it doesn't. So um, there's no, currently at least, there's no fundamental driver, but it's mainly, mainly a, a technical trade. And um, yeah, let's just let's just see how, how things play out. If they play out, hopefully it does, but um, I don't know, 200 channels is the level. I'll leave the market the room. Um, right now I'm in the green for the trade. We are, we are right now opening most likely slightly higher than, than yesterday's close. Probably we, we, we drop again or we push into the level 210, we fail, and then we drop here below this volume weighted average price. So what's currently paid in the, paid in the pre-market. And then we'll see whether we drop 206. If we drop 206, I think 204, probably 202 um, um, are our next levels, but we shouldn't expect too much on the downside given after markets earnings and in this regard then um, that the market participants won't probably um, 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 play a big hand, let's say, um, um, in, the, uh, um, um, in, the, in the trading session below that um, um, event taking place. So that's it on, on, on um, NVIDIA. And um, you probably have wondered why I have a trade. And this, this was the explanation. Now let's have a look here at Baidu and what happened with Baidu. I also said that um, we had coin on the radar. Um, I don't like coin right now, and I, I do that for a reason, and this will become clear in a few seconds. Um, let's here bring this over there and come back there. So several uh, minutes ago, Baidu, or hours, it was probably hours, uh, Baidu released some um, earnings for the uh, fourth quarter. Baidu is currently a hot stock. Why is it a hot stock? Well, it's a hot stock because... Um, it's it's playing um, a, a crucial role to some extent as the, the Chinese Google, let's say, also in the KI sector and has seen a massive run, as you can see here in the daily lower. Um, so we started after this, this sellout, which took place over the course of, of, of the last, um, in fact, around two years um, after the, the CCP in, the, uh, um, uh, in, in China took over, let's say, and um, put massive pressure, especially on the e-commerce tech, tech sector. And Baidu is one of the key players there in this um, 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 universe. And thus the stock dropped like a stone from 350 USD here. In this case, we are looking at the um, ADR. Um, we dropped from 350 down to 80, 80 USD around. And um, so 
I think massively undervalued given uh, the overall position Baidu has. And I think it's the third, the, the, the search um, 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 machine like Google they're, they're um, running. I think if I'm not mistaken, this is the third biggest website worldwide visited daily, if I'm not mistaken. And the stock rallied massively after this um, started to ease, let's say. And, and we, we saw signs that the zero COVID policy in, in, in China is about to end um and uh the the ccp is now doing something about the darkening economic picture we see in china um baidu took off um as did several other stocks too like baba and that stuff but baidu right now had had a massive run with over 100 from the lows here um into the highs at around 160 and the gap you can see here by the way that was a gap when there was a, um, a, a news release that they're about to launch at the beginning of March um, a direct competition for chat GPT. So the open AI um, 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 uh, artificial intelligence, which is um, or, where, where Microsoft is also bought into open AI and wants to use this uh, chat GPT in their Bing software, if I'm not mistaken. And so we have Baidu here as a big player in the artificial uh, intelligence sector. And that was one of the reasons why the stock popped higher, but but sold off on this news. In fact, I took I took a short trade here um, um, since I think, I don't, what was it here? Somewhere there. Um, because um, um, then there was another news, which was already, at least in my opinion, baked into the price, but we didn't really sell off sharply, let's say, but took on some bearish momentum. And um, so right now, uh, numbers come in and they, they surprise on the upside. And also the outlook overall looks um, quite promising, uh, which, is, which is given here. So I can, I can share here, by the way, with you the link to the chat box. One sec. Let me just share it. Um, and then you can read through this yourself. All in all, it's a bullish um, impression. The stock make, respectively, the release makes and the um, 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 stock, as we've seen here, is currently gapping higher from yesterday's closing price. So closed around 141 and is right now in the pre-market trading 10 bucks higher, which is kind of 6% um, um, gap on the upside. And um, so... This is the first check in our favor I want to see. So first of all, I want to see that the stock um, I'm looking at here to, to make sure that the, the um, how can I say, that the stock is hot. Um, that first of all, there's a gap to the closing price from yesterday, which shows, okay, there's a, there's a massive imbalance in terms of demand and supply. So then in addition to that, I want to make sure that there is some um, significant volume being traded in the pre-market. The question is, what is significant? Because there's a, a relative, um, 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 relative. Um, so, so, so it's it, it's it's nothing um, concrete, let's say. Um, and as you can see here, so right now over five hundred thousand. So this is also for free, available for free. You can find this on on Market Watch. How much um, um, volume is trading in the pre market? So you can see here that around 557,000 um, 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 pieces are traded. In fact, let me just update this here in my, in my sheet. I will, I will go through this in a few seconds. And I will also here have the gap. This is very important for me, by the way. It's not just that I, that I make sure. Um, let me just here check my second screen. Okay, still, I think coin is still not very hot. I think it's, it's a good choice to focus on Baidu here, to be honest. Um, and the reason for that is you can see that here, ADTV. This is the number we are looking at. Um, and probably that makes also sense to, it's not that relevant, by the way, and not surprising. Um, and, and personally, I think that uh, it's not surprising that right now with earnings after hours um, um, here, that, that NVIDIA isn't hot. But if I trade a, a stock on earnings, I want to consider the stock to be hot. And how do I do that? Well, first of all, we have the pre-market volume. So this is what we get here from, from, from um, Market Watch. And then we put this in relation to what's traded on average daily in the stock. And this is where Finwiz comes into play. And let's, let's head over here to Baidu in this case. So we look at Baidu and you can see that on average, there is 3.6 8 million shares being traded. That's not that much, by the way. Um, um, but it's 3.68 million average daily trading volume pieces are traded per day. And now I say, okay, if it's 10% or higher and the gap is greater 3%, 5% in this case, which is the case and which is the case. So here you can see it's nearly 20% of what's uh, traded on average. Then I can consider the stock to be hot. Certainly 
I need to make sure that I understand the trigger, why the stock is hot. Is there a catalyst behind that? I'm sure it is. So there's also um, um, a news. In this case, it's an earnings release. And this is one of the reasons um, I say then, okay, the stock is now very interesting for me. And I go through a checklist, by the way, and I want to show it to you. Unfortunately, it's in German. Um, so I've, I've shown that the last time um, I'm here too, and I haven't checked um, or I haven't updated it, but I go through this. So my setup checklist makes sure that I have checks in my favor. And the more checks I have, the more I'm willing to risk for a certain trade I'm then about to enter. So in this case, it means um, if I have a fundamental catalyst, earnings, check one, I have a pre-market volume, which is greater 10%, ADTV, so average daily trading volume, check two. I have a gap of greater 3%, check three. I have a break above or below a technically relevant level. No, I don't have it. Why do I say that? Well, that's why I have this um, um, open here, the hourly and the daily chart in this case. So you can see we are gapping into 150. This is around here, but we are not gapping out of this range on a daily or respectively in this case here, when you look at the at the at daily, daily chart, so the, the, the bigger picture, uh, I think we're we're within this range. Let's see if we break above 152, probably 54. That could open the door, but depends on the overall market. If we if we get that, but all all in all, given what we see here, it's not that we get let's say to new all time highs or new all time lows. In this case, we're we are far far away from that. But just to give you an idea of what I mean with that, so this is this is not taking place. So I have three out of four checks done. Are we trading above or below VWAP? So this is the volume weighted average price. Therefore, let's head over. Holy shit. <laughs> Just in this, in this second, we're dropping. So we're dropping into the into the start of the trading day. We're dropping this blue line here. Um, so this is the volume weighted average price. And we dropped it. So if we don't trade above um, a volume weighted average price, well, I don't have a check here in this regard. But the next thing is, do we trade above or below um, the, the pre-market highs in this case? So now the thing is, if we drive above 152, this is my level, and this is also the game plan I formulated here. So I have two scenarios, but um, let's focus here on the second one. Um, so if we drive above that, well, then these two checks would be in my favor, certainly, because then I have trading above WeWeb and I have trading above the pre-market high. So then I have five checks in my favor. And then as is there another another check I can I can have here in this regard? Probably we are getting support from the overall market, depending a little on whether we continue to flush lower or not. Let's see that. But we have five to six checks in our favor. So what does this mean? Well, I say for myself, for this um, um, here, we, we're just fo formulating, let's say 100 USD is our daily stop, okay? This is this is what we're willing to risk. And based on how many checks I have for the setup, um, then I decide on how much I risk for my setup here um, of my daily stop. So I have five to six checks, which means somewhere between an A to B setup. So that means I'm willing to risk in this regard 30%, of my of my daily stop, which means if I'm 100 USD and risking 100 USD, I'm risking 30 USD for the trade. So what does that mean? Well, um, if I trade, take a trade. Let's say assume we are driving here above 152 and holding, um, and I'm 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 risking let's say one USD. That's that means that I'm 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 buying something like 30 shares. So right now you can see here. I've pre um, um, set 15 shares in this regard, so very small. It's just for illustration purposes only. So we're not we're not going after um, 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 I don't know um, trying to 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 trade out or scalp out here the next um, vacation on, on on Tahiti or something like that. Um, it's just for illustration purposes how I go through this process of identifying and then also how to 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 identify not just the stocks I want to trade based on which reasons, but also how much I want to risk on this setup. And um, so, in fact, that's it. So what I have here is I write this down so that I can make sure if I if I um, document this in my trading journal um, after the the, the 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 trading session has closed and my trade is closed, so that I can write it down and then I can um, review it afterwards and see which checks were in my favor and why did I perform the way I did? Was there a check which should have been there, which wasn't there? Um, how was my mental um um um, um not behavior, but 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 overall, 
mental um, 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 state in which I found myself in. And I document this. I also make sure that I have if then statements here. So if this happens, then I want to do this and that. In case of Baidu, if we break above 152 and we hold there and we are trading, whoop, and we are trading above the volume weighted average price, then I want to be long. But it depends a little. So first of all, I need to wait and, head, and we have to see um, how things play out. So right now here, NVIDIA is starting. By the way, we, we came just below that. Let's see. So um, right now we can see that, by the way. You might wonder, um, if we now head over here to the trading station, there's nothing happening, right? So why is nothing happening? This is very simple because um, the liquidity providers need to make sure that they have enough liquidity to hedge their exposure. So just assume I'm trading the market opening and I'm trading I don't know. Let's just just for for illustration purposes, I'll just think about this. Um, I'm 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 planning now to to um short a break below 206, and um I say, well, I go full throttle here, and uh, I I I don't know, short 1,000 shares. It shouldn't be such a big deal because we're not talking about the low flow, but we're talking about Nvidia. But just for illustration purposes, uh, and the liquidity provider doesn't have a chance to deliver the liquidity, respectively, if we short, and he has to buy from us. Um, well, then he has to make sure that he can forward this directly through the market. Um, this is not necessarily the case um, all the time. And that's why they have a, um, a delay here of five minutes. And then we start into the trading day. Um, so this is what we get to see now in the video. Let's see. By the way, this is, this is very um, um, interesting now with the push to 206. Let's see if we, if we drop that level. Um, I already said um, um, I'd, I'd really like to see that drop below, hope below, um, because I think this this and elevates, this elevates the chances of us um, then going to 204. 202 probably, and, and the trade continue to play out on the downside. Um, but in our case, we are more focused now on what Baidu is delivering. And um, let's have a look here now at the, at the game plans. I have two scenarios. The first one was the one with the drive above 152, which we're obviously not getting, right? So flushing lower. Um, and the second is a short flush below 149, but then a rebid above that level. So let's see how things play out here. Uh, but right here, you can see that this is then the second scenario or the first of these two sec um, scenarios here. It flush into 149 and holds, respectively, reclaimed wheel up. So holds means you're flushing below and then you're bought back above 200 and uh, 149 in this regard. And then we are pushing above volume weighted average price and hold there. This could be interesting for long. But the thing is, remember, coming back now to, to the chart here, remember, um, if we place our stop then here at 147 in this regard and, and entering, let's say, around 150, we get to see such a push higher above that level. Well, the thing is that we are then risking around 150 for the trade. 150 for the trade, and then we are not trading at least not here, and, and we can't really significantly hold above that level, let's put it that way, um, well, we are losing checks. That means I, you can see then, um, that's also part of, let's say, the, the um, overall, uh, probably a good way to put it, um, experience. Uh, so 15 shares with 150 of risk, it's close to 20, 25%, and I'm fine with that. So I don't want to, um, I don't want to be too aggressive um, right here, but also want to make sure that I have um, um, more checks in my favor. And the more checks I have in my favor, the more aggressive I'm willing to take this trade. The less the checks, the smaller the position size. If I trade the trade, um, if I take the trade at all. So coming back then to the to the price action. So, uh, but you can see. So I'm I'm not I'm 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 not I'm not rushing into a trade or something like that. So it's like. First of all, I have time for first five minutes of, of trading. We, we just have to wait because there's no liquidity available that time. Um, and then let's just see how, how things play out. So probably we are we are we are we are taking a trade if we if we break above probably probably also here 150 51 probably probably in anticipation of a of a drive higher. Now we have to see if we make it back above view up if if we flush lower first, and then we fail now to reclaim the volume weighted average price. That's not a sign of strength, by the way. So you, you wanna you wanna see the stock. In fact, if 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 the news is considered um, um and, and taken positively, uh, you, you wanna see the stock holding above the volume weighted average price, above the price which was on average paid 
um, by market participants. And um, let, let's just to see if, if, if this is this is what we what we get to see here. But right here, as you can see, we have trouble. So we we spike into this. So it's like a like a to some extent stuff. Yeah. Well, you're you're, you're stuffing into that level, and then you reject it directly. This is not a sign of strength. So a stock which rises rises. So there's demand coming in, and um, um, bears in this case are um, overrun. Okay. Um, if we don't make it back above a um, volume weighted average price here, that's not a sign of, of strength. And then I don't want to be long the stock. It, probably I want to I want to be short the stock. In fact, um, but then I have a problem because as you can see here, my checklist. Probably you can see it. You can see that I want to have trading above volume weighted average price. So handel über handel unter means trading above, trading below WeWeb. In Richtung fundamental triggers means in direction of the fundamental trigger. And the fundamental trigger, the news, better EPS, better revenue, solid outlook, let's say, um, is positive. So you want to trade in direction of the advantage, which I consider to be on the on the on the long side. This is obviously something we don't get to see as of now. So and that's the reason why I step back from the cherry ten um, and, and focus, in fact, on, on what we get to see in NVIDIA. So this is, in fact, right now something we can, can just skip. We have it here. We can we can look at this. Now we make new entry lows. That's not a positive sign. This is not long. So this this is certainly not long. So in, in the first five minutes of trading, now we, now we you know you can see what I'm what I'm talking about. Um, so let's see what what um, uh, NVIDIA delivers. So what does NVIDIA deliver? And to be honest. Um, Let's see if we hope below 208. So this is the pre-market high. You can see here, um, this was a first spike into that. We are within um, a price discovery phase. So right now, I wouldn't overemphasize um, 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 any, any levels here, but certainly you can see that, that the market respects that level at least. Um, it's closely, closely below here, um, this, this orange line I was talking about. So I certainly, nothing has changed so far, but I certainly don't want to see the stock popping back above 210 in this regard. And um, we've seen, by the way, um, similar price action. So I, I watched the stock closely yesterday too. So there was also this, this pop higher into the opening. I don't want to be too aggressive with my stop loss. And, and then we were rolling over and dropping below the volume weighted average price, which took place something like 20 minutes into the trading. Day. Probably we don't get to see that today. Um, but certainly this is something to, to keep an eye on. So why I don't want to be too aggressive now with the stop, leaving the trade some room to breathe. Again, if we continue to push higher here, if we make it back above 210, well, then this is certainly a sign why I don't want to be long anymore, um, especially if the overall market, in this case, the queues, start and here this is interesting so the queues are not running so it's this is this is interesting so where's the buying coming from are these um, um optimistic traders so the volume is not that great so probably this is some people anticipating strong earnings or something like that i'm not sure Wh whatever um but if there's no continuous buying happening then and we're dropping now and especially dropping below 206 well i'm still in the driver's seat and then i probably will start to trail the stop more aggressively um but also here i'm not i'm not um I'm impatient or i'm not like um, um um i have to make a decision now i have to take a trade no just like let the market breathe let it do its 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 uh, thing and then take a decision once we once we have a clear clear um, um sign and which can be considered um a sign, let's say. So it's not something um, we, we make now in this price discovery phase, which I consider to be taking place in the first 15 to probably 30 minutes of the trading day. So after 3.30, um, German time in this regard, um, market opens and then it starts, volume comes in and we will see, is there more buyers than sellers? If there is there more sellers than buyers? Well, look at, at Baidu, <laughs> there's obviously more sellers than buyers. So um, this is a first clear sign. Let's see if this is sustainable. In case of, of NVIDIA, it's like spiking around, slight tendency to the upside, but this was something we've seen yesterday too. And then the market rolled over as did NVIDIA and, and, and we dropped here below um, um, the volume weighted average price. So again, as long as we trade below 210, I'm, I'm completely fine with that. And then just, just leave, let, let the market do what the market wants to do. Um, any questions? Any questions from, from your end? Um, Something I, I should uh, keep an eye on um, 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 
stock I, I you you'd like me to 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 watch or something like that. I'm probably let's have a look here at at, at coin. What's coin doing? Hmm. I probably we can we can also um have a look at coin. I have um the earnings here. Let's probably bring this over here. And let's oh I'm sorry. Let's head over here to my Twitter account and my tweet from yesterday and in regards to Coinbase and, and what they deliver. Um, were numbers strong? Not really sure. Um, so EPS um, is uh, negative. So the um, 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 here you can see those, what's the word for this? In Germany, it's, uh, in German, it's called Klammer. It's, um, let me just, one sec. Let me just see. Clip? No. Bracket. Yeah, bra yeah, probable bracket. So the bracket here, that means uh, that it's a loss per share. So it's um, it's a loss per share. Uh, 246 against 239. So slightly higher than expected. Sales were above expectations, probably positive. Transaction revenues. Unfortunately, um, I, I, I don't have um, um, an estimate here, but it's um, quarter on quarter minus 12%. So let's call it the crypto winter continues. Consumer transaction revenue minus 11% quarter on quarter, 309. Um, CSQ1 subscription and service revenues, 300 to 325. Initially, stock was lower. Um, now the stock, let me just open it here. So there we have coin. Right now, the stock is trading slightly higher compared to its, uh, um, um, to its closing price yesterday, as you can see here. Um, Trading in the middle of nowhere, let's say. So um, it's it's very difficult to say. What I consider to be difficult, let's say, is that Bitcoin failed to break above twenty five thousand, and we know that um, Coinbase and um, 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 Bitcoin are positively correlated to each other. So if one rises, the other should follow. If one drops, the other should follow. Um, so I haven't yet seen where Bitcoin is trading right now above 24,000, but minus 1.7% um, 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 for the day. So that's that's definitely something to to um, um, be aware of, to, to keep an eye on in this, in this regard, uh, because if there's no bullishness coming into Bitcoin, it's unlikely that there's bullishness coming into coin in this case. So that's why I, I'm a little, um, I have a, I, I'm, I'm a little skeptical whether whether I really want to want to trade the stock from alongside. You can also see it here. So I have a clear bias for Nvidia. I have a clear bias for Baidu. So green is obviously long, red is obviously um, short, and blue is like long and short. You can also see that here. Um, I I have three scenarios, but it's not um, the the first choice on my on my list here. But it's um it's it's number three if at all. Um, I say if drives and holds above 64, then long. And I put here also um, um, a question mark. I'm, I'm not really sure if I want to be long the stock. So right now it seems as if 64 can hold, as you can see here in the stock. So probably let's head over to here, this chart and then you can also see it there. Um, you can see, well, we're taking out the, the pre-market highs. You can see that this is 64. Um, but stuffing where it's spiking now into the the highs from yesterday if we make it above that level okay 67 but have we so much more room on the upside then i'm not really sure so i'm i'm, I'm not really sure about about the stock and that's mainly due to the fact that if you look here at um what what coin is is, is showing us on an hourly chart so the bigger picture it's just not interesting. So it's like I, I, I don't I don't really see um, I'm, I'm a long play here. If certainly we drive above the highs from yesterday, and then there's a small consolidation taking place of something like I don't know 20, 25, 30 minutes or so, um, and it's like a horizontal consolidation, um, and then there's no sellers stepping in and into this or into the, the bounces to the lower right side of the range, uh, the volume decreases. That's probably a sign that that uh, we are about to break higher for the day then, um, especially if, if uh, Bitcoin can hold 24 and take another attempt to break above 25. But all in all, this is so many, well, this has to happen and this has to happen and this has to happen. And the fact that they're also based on the um, overall um, earnings release yesterday, the stock hasn't um, um, seen an increased volume in the pre-market. So slightly 
slightly lower. So in general, lower. Um, it's not a sign that the stock is overly um, um, bullish, let's say. So market participants are not going crazy. Um, and after the stock and say, well, this is a, such an um, outstanding release, in addition to the fact that the stock has already seen here from um, the beginning of the year, nearly um, a triple. So we, we come from 34 and, and we traded as high as 86, 87, which is which I think is is is, is quite um, impressive, but also on the other hand, quite expand, um, extended on the upside. We've seen already a, um, 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 a flush lower, but still trading nearly 100% um, in the green for the year. And that's definitely something um, to, 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 to be aware of and, and to be a little skeptical um, 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 about in, in this regard and probably not consider the stock to be that... Um, interesting for uh for uh, for um, um, um for, from the long side or respectively don't expect too much potential on the upside because i don't think that the earnings were were so um, um massively positive let's say in this regard so yeah let's see how let's see how, how things play out um and um that's it from my end so after hours today nvidia with earnings let's see um how our earnings um, um um present themselves and then you have now a clear checklist how to go through um which steps go through and then also make sure that you're in the hottest stocks for today um no trades today again so baidu would have been a play but obviously obviously it sharply dropped and didn't push above um, um 150 52 52 was right yeah then we didn't we get, didn't get to see that um, if you have any questions, please feel free to check out um, um, here the contact details from Admirals. Um, again, the website for the mini terminal, if you um, want to use this and you're a middle trader, you can find um, all details listed on the website. And that's it from my end. So happy trading. Watch your stop. See you. Bye-bye.